NATO panic. Russia's sixth generation drone can reach outer space. The Sequoia 70 Okotnik B is a Russian unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, that is currently being developed as part of the sixth generation aircraft program in Russia. The aircraft is designed to operate autonomously and is expected to have advanced stealth capabilities to make it difficult to detect by radar and other sensors. In the future, it is planned to act under the control of pilots of Su-57 jets, similarly to the USAF Skyborg program. Unlike the European Air Forces which plan to rely, in the decades to come, on piloted fighters and possibly on remote carrier airborne drones for hunting and attack missions, Russia has chosen to develop, to alongside its new generation Su-57 and Su-75 fighter jets and Grim airborne drones, a heavy combat drone destined to take a prominent place in the aerial inventory, replacing part of the fighters and attack aircraft lightweight, like the MiG-29 and the Su-25. The Okotnik B does not approach a hunter only by its dimensions and its mass, it also has its performance, with a high subsonic cruising speed, and above all an impressive range of more than 3,500 kilometers, and two weapon bunkers designed to accommodate the same ammunition as that of the Su-57 and the future Su-75, which will notably be able to accommodate the airborne version of the Tsirkin hypersonic anti-ship missile, the Larchinka MD, just like the Gremlin missile, or GZUR, compact. Version of the Kinsol hypersonic missile. The conjunction of unobtrusive radar and infrared optimized drones, and hypersonic anti ship and air to ground missiles, will give the Russian Air Forces a significant tactical advantage, and this in a relatively short time frame that does not allow the European Air Forces to protect themselves effectively in the short term. According to data from the Russian Ministry of Defense, during its first joint flight with the Su-57 fighter, the Okotnik drone operated in automatic mode with its full configuration, entering the air combat warning area. During the joint flight, the Su-57 and Okotnik tested the expansion of the fighter's radar field, issuing target acquisition data for using air-launched weapons. Russia's S-70 Okotnik unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, which can also operate as a wingman to the Su-57 fighter, is artificial intelligence AI, enabled and can reach outer space when fitted with suitable engines. The S-70 Okotnik is powered by an AL-31 turbojet engine and is expected to fly at 1,000 km an hour and a range of 6,000 km. It is equipped with electro-optical targeting, radio, and other types of reconnaissance equipment, with its internal bays carrying a payload of 2.8 tons of weapons. Military historian calls it a space drone. It has many elements of a sixth-generation drone. In addition to low visibility and supersonic speed, it can reach high altitudes and, in the future, into outer space. It, however, depends on the engines that still need to be created, the expert said Nutov said. Nutov also directly hinted about the intended mission profiles of the Su-57, the Okotnik. The Su-57 can control a swarm of Okotnik drones, and this combination opens up great opportunities for solving strategic combat missions. The Hunter is made in the same way as the Su-57. And in Ukraine, Su-57 aircraft solved combat missions and returned unnoticed, Nutov added. This indicates that Su-57 and the Okotnik team would either destroy large strategic targets like North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, command centers and civilian military targets or ease the way for large bombers like the Tupolev Tu-160, Tu-22 or MiG-31s that can carry the KH-101 cruise missile or the Kinsol hypersonic missile to release their payload. Vladimir Artyakov, first deputy director general of the Rostec State Corporation, boasted that none of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, countries have a UCAV system that can match the Okotnik. 